Okay, we're going to make a chlorophyll. I'm going to extract the chlorophyll from the spinach. Why would I do that? Well, let's say you want to make a, a basil sauce. You'll see that that basil sauce at one point might turn brown on you if you keep it hot. Well, if you add some of the chlorophyll to that, you're able to keep it with a nice and green color. Let's say you want to make some green pasta dough. Well, you mixed the chlorophyll with your pasta dough and then you get a green pasta. This is actually what I will do with that chlorophyll after on another video, I will make some green pasta. Okay, so how do we do that? It's very easy. I'm going to take my spinach. I'm going to put them in the blender here with some water. The amount of water doesn't really matter. Let's say you put half cup of spinach for a pound of, uh, I'm sorry, let's say you put half cup of water for a pound of spinach. Then you put your spinach inside and we're going to put that on slowly. Okay, after you blend it very well, I'm going to release that tower here. I'm going to put that on top of that pot here. Okay, I'm going to pour the liquid into it, just like that. And now, I'm going to grab the side, this way, and I'm going to squeeze the liquid out. You want to keep the liquid, this is where our chlorophyll is and you squeeze it out this way. Now you want to be careful when you squeeze, if you squeeze too hard, the linen you use might pop and then everything, or everything around you will become green. It happened to me before. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Now we're going to put it on, the heat, I'm going to put my heat on and we're going to wait for that to come to a simmer. You'll see what happens as it comes to a simmer. When it simmer, you want to let it simmer for a minute, no more than that, just one minute. Okay, it's warming up. So you'll see that the top is going to start to solidify. It's going to clarify itself from the liquid. The chlorophyll is going to clarify itself or extract itself from the water. And See, it start simmering, and as you can see, the chlorophyll is shaping up right on top here. That little foam, that's your actual chlorophyll. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. You see that? We are now going to strain it. So we are now straining the chlorophyll. Up, let's take that. You can see the liquid on there. It lost all its color. I'm pressing the rest of the juice out here. Now, this is here 
our chlorophyll. See that? That's the chlorophyll. Okay, you just learned how to make chlorophyll. Hope you enjoy.